Hello, this is Chris with CricketUsers.com and the USGalaxyS3.com YouTube channel. This should be one of the most simplistic root methods for the Cricket Wireless uh, Galaxy S3 uh, 4G LTE device. All this is going to do is root the device. We already have our drivers installed. Your best bet is to follow along the thread while uh, watching this video. I've gotten this debug uh, FS root generic uh, method and I've extracted it to the C drive. I've already plugged in my Galaxy S3. Like I said, I have drivers installed from past S3 devices. We'll also have a link to those. Go ahead and go down to developer options. You won't be able to change USB debugging when your USB cord is plugged in, so go ahead and unplug it. Enable USB de debugging and back out. And then go to security and lock screen. Go down to device administration and make sure unknown, locate, unknown sources is checked to allow installation of non-market apps so it can install super user. So if you go to your device manager you should see the Samsung Android ADB uh, device. Go ahead and run your command prompt. Uh, you can go into your uh, search and type CMD and enter. Uh, this is a Windows 8 machine, so it's a little bit different. I just go in the search, uh, type in command. You would normally just go into the start and that little search box that pops up. Go ahead and type in CMD and enter. I'm going to go ahead and get down uh, to the root, but actually I've placed it on my D drive. So I'm going to go ahead and change the directory to root temp. That's what I extracted it to. So now we're in this folder right here. We're going to go ahead and run root debug fs. So this is what we're left at. It's a multi device root method by Sparky M3. And he also gives credit to MiloJ for the root method. We'll go ahead and select one root. It says you must install your device specific drivers so that the device is visible to ADB. We've done that. For more directions, please search FCA forums. Press any key to continue. It says go in and enable USB debugging, which we've done. And you must enable unknown sources. So waiting for the device to be detected. Push some files over. It says once the device has finished restarting, go ahead and press any key to continue. So let the device uh, stabilize a little bit. Give it the opportunity to reconnect to the computer. then go ahead and press any key. And then once again it says once your device has finished restarting press any key to continue. We'll also be doing another method uh, which involves installing a custom recovery and then flashing a zip file that will give you root. We do want to prepare this device to be able to take uh, custom ROMs like CyanogenMod Mod 10 when those are available. Again, let the device stabilize a little bit. I already see it in my device manager, so it should be good. I'll press any key again. And it says root permission is successfully granted to SU binary. Uh, you have root. If your apps don't recognize uh, the root access, you may need to reboot your device. Press any key to continue. So here's our brand new Samsung Galaxy S3 on Cricut Wireless 4G LTE capable device that we just unboxed, or I just unboxed, and it's already rooted. 
Uh, to verify this, I'm going to go ahead and get uh, ES File Explorer slash File Manager. Going to install it. And then we'll give it root access or grant it root permissions and see if we can actually see our system folder. So we'll go into the settings. It's going to ask us if we want to grant permissions. Since that didn't work right off the bat, let's go ahead and go into super user. It might prompt us to update the binaries. We'll hit menu. Tap this to check for updates. We were updated anyways. Go ahead and click allow. Go back to the file ES file explorer. Back to the settings. Go ahead and click that again. We'll allow this time. I've allowed it to go up to root and mount the file system. In case we did want to write something there. Now you can see we have full access to go into our system folder and see the build prop. So if you want to use like Titanium Backup or any other uh, things that use root, uh, this is a great method to root the Galaxy S3 for Cricut Wireless. Also works on a handful of different uh, devices, uh, especially the whole uh, S3 line, it seems like. So for more information about this and more, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Visit my uh, website, CricutUsers.com, and like my Facebook page. It really helps me out a lot and allows me to be able to obtain these devices and uh, do these videos. Thanks a lot.